What's up everybody, I'm David, and today I am joined by my best friend from Canada, the one and the only, Alexander Butt. Uh, <laughs> it's that, a pleasure to be here. Uh, that, that is his surname, by the way. Um, yes, A Butt. <laughs> a Butt. <laughs> a -butt. <laughs> um, I didn't suffer much childhood for that. Not at all. Not one bit. <laughs> So Alex and I met like a good few years ago. He is actually British, by the way, even though I said Canadian friend, he lives in Canada. And we met a few years ago. We actually worked together for a while. Yeah. And we actually lived together for a while. So we used, to, we used to work at a gym in the fitness industry together. And he now runs a company called Stoic Conditioning. So, tell me about Stoic Conditioning. <laughs> I do indeed. Our main thing is we uh, deliver training packages for so it's like aspiring to be in the military or who are already in the military and want to go further into that and further up the chain. And the training is kind of like primarily like fitness and mental kind of like self-development. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So we, we base everything around the discipline of fitness, the discipline of strength and conditioning. But within that, there's so much room for uh, kind of self-development in a mentality capacity. So, you know, sometimes you're just in a in a workout and it hurts and it just hurts and you've got like 20 minutes left oh it hurts oh, right. it hurts it burns <laughs> <laughs> but uh you know and within that there's definitely an area of opportunity for you to develop psychological strength mentality which obviously is going to transfer over into military application and you know when you're just out in the hills and you've got another 20 clicks to go and you're carrying 60 pounds of <laughs> luggage and it's that like, sounds awful okay i'm gonna need to dig deep because yeah. everyone's fitness at that stage is good enough but it's kind of it's the top two inches that make the biggest difference in it's the choosing exactly it's choice so to, to go forward <laughs> to finish it off um yeah cool so the thing is is that it's been a little while since we've been together um he is one of yeah. the few people that i can train with in the gym and that I feel comfortable training with because I get grumpy with other people. I'm like, do as you're tall! Um, and most people won't. Um, so, so this morning we're gonna head to the gym, we're gonna get a session in and then we're gonna see where the day takes us. Um, and I feel like we're gonna have a lot of fun. We always do. Uh, we always do. We always. So upon that note, are you ready? I'm ready. So three, two, one. Let's go! <laughs> So that's the strength component over and done with. Now we're going to engage in a little bit of suffering. We're gonna do a bit of conditioning now, um, and then we're gonna scoot on home. But also, how awesome is this like, mural on the wall? So cool. And then over here, we've got, we've got Wonder Woman right here, looking awesome. Spider-Man, Wolverine, and more Hulk. Uh, it's really cool in here. Uh, Priority six, Abingdon, awesome gym. So how was that? That was great fun. 
Yeah. That shook out some cobwebs. One hundred percent. I think it's definitely time to go and feed. I think it is time for a feed. Let's go feed. <laughs> So, what's the inspiration behind you calling it stoic conditioning? Like, why stoicism? What, what was that all about? With uh, using stoic in our title, stoic really has two meanings. It's a dual meaning word for us because there's the, the kind of dictionary definition of stoic, which is someone who's able to bear great hardship or great um, struggles without any outward display of emotion and that really speaks to someone who you know might be going through basic training or military training or you know uh, any kind of selection process and mm -hmm. it, it sucks it's hard yeah and, but they're not able to or not really in a position to display that outwardly as someone might someone else might be able to yeah but then added to that there's the stoicism like a capital s stoicism which is a philosophy system that mm. people can really use in times especially in modern age it uh, it really benefits us to have a little bit of stoicism a little bit of that kind of internalism and uh, a guiding principle a set of guiding virtues to really help us mm -hmm. And when you say um, it really helps nowadays, what, what do you mean by that? In this day and age, you know, there's so much going on all the time. We're uh, overstimulated in, to the nth degree, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone's chasing something, but sometimes it can be as simple as uh, stepping back, being grateful for what you have, as well as knowing that a lot of the stuff that we might be stressing about, we have no control over. Yeah. I definitely think that that's something that I uh, try to do that as much as I can. I kind of have done for quite a long time, but it's it's always been a case of I'm a relatively laid back guy. <clears throat> and I think that the reason I'm relatively laid back is because I attempt to not worry about the shit that I can't control. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, it's kind of like we were talking about yesterday. You go through an exam. If you then, after finishing the exam, all you do is worry about what you could have, should have, or might have done in that instance, all that's doing is adding additional stress to a scenario that's completely unnecessary because it's not going to help the outcome of everything anyway. Absolutely. I very much try to do that in life, and I think that it's a, it is important. And I think it's very helpful just for kind of like mental well-being on a day-to-day -day basis anyway. Because um, at the end of the day, if you can limit stresses, mm -hmm. you're going to be a happier guy, right? Yeah, especially nowadays, it is, uh, we are overstimulated, we're overstressed. Um, yeah. so and if the you world's can, a fucking mess. <laughs> so if you can have those opportunities to step into yourself and just be like, what can I control, what can't I control? I'm going to minimize my mental capacity on the stuff that I can't control and I'm going to focus on the stuff that I can control. And, and take full responsibility purpose. for yeah. the things that you can control. Yeah. Um, if you want the best example of a stoic, it's definitely that dog. The reason being is this. You have no idea how much pain and how many injuries that dog has been through. He's had his face basically hanging open and he'll kind of like step up and go, Yo! You gonna throw that ball or what? And he just doesn't fuck. He's just like, yeah, this is fine. I'm fine. There's, there's no problems here. I have a job to do. I'd like to throw a ball. Let's throw a fucking ball, shall we? Yes, my heart. In case some of you were worried that I hadn't done it yet or that I wasn't gonna do it today, it is... Coffee time. <laughs> Red leader. So in the end, we decided that we're gonna go climbing. Now, funny story, the last time I went climbing, uh, well, specifically, we're gonna go bouldering. The last time I went bouldering was actually with Alex. <laughs> and it was about five years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Was London. that the last time you went bouldering as well? It was indeed. So I feel like, it, you know, it's, uh, it's appropriate. So that's what we're gonna do.
Are you ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm not ready. I haven't done this in a long time. I'm, this is going to be awful. Okay, so I think it's safe to say that we have found uh, my skill cap 100% now. Alex has already done this. I don't think I'm going to be able to manage it, but I'm close. So this is going to be my final attempt. I'm going to give it a whirl. And um, I, can't, I can't just manhandle this one, unfortunately. Let's get some of that choke on there. So we just finished up climbing. It's safe to say that the two of us are um, <laughs> definitely less chimp-like and much more... Slightly more ground-orientated. Um, or just slightly more gorilla-ish. There is that, yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, I think one of the things that I value the most and one of the things that I think as I've got a little bit older and I've tried to refine the motivation and the discipline to train again, mm -hmm. I've very much got to a point where I value being able to go and just do fun activities like climbing or yeah. like mountain biking or this, that and the other. So a lot of the training and the fitness that I do do now and that I think is similar for you is aimed at being generally physically prepared for yeah. any sort of activity that we want to do. Um, I'd say that. And I think that it's, um, it's really nice to kind of have that change in perspective on that. So it's funny that you mentioned that uh, you know your, your training's changed and stuff like that. I definitely agree going on that whole uh, changing from more of like a specific channel of, uh, of training when we were younger for like for a specific reason to now like basically being in a position where at the drop of a hat you can be like yeah we'll go climbing or yeah we'll go hiking or yeah we'll run an adventurous 5k or whatever. It's yeah. just, at the drop of a hat being able to do a multitude of things relatively well as well you know not dragging ass yeah. <laughs> but i think that's what like keeps life fun right absolutely at the end yeah. of the day it's being able to just be like yeah fuck it i will have a go at this or yeah. yeah someone someone offers or asks you if you fancy doing something and you're like yeah one of the things that we've talked about like a lot over the last couple of days is actually going out of our way to do the things that make us happy yep just saying yes to doing like fun activities and going out of your way to do something new each week or try something different or 
Yeah. We haven't climbed for like five years, but it's something that both of us actually really like and something that both of us have had in the back of our mind that we've wanted to do for ages. Mm -hmm. And it just so happened that when Alex said he was coming, I was like, <laughs> I've got a great idea. <laughs> and it's just trying to do that more, really. Yeah. And I think that's important. We just got home, I just put some food in the oven and I just wanted to say, first of all, how beautiful is my Dax? And second of all, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you are either in the military or considering going into the military and you want to, uh, to get some like appropriate fitness training, stoic conditioning. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. No, thank you. Oh yes. Oh yes. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you did, leave a like. If you like my big ridge back, leave a like. Leave a comment. Um, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh yes, big boy. Oh yes. Scared? No, I'm, I'm not even going to do that because you're here. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh my boy, oh my boy. Oh, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing, hey? What are you doing? Where is he? Dax? Oh, hey. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Big love.